Welcome back, class, to Ruthless, a Mass Effect 2 story. I'm Snapwave, and we are continuing the story of Iago Shepard. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh. I picked up some DLC, so maybe that's what it is. I hate how it doesn't automatically mark things as red. Yep, yeah, okay, yeah, we know. There we go, goodbye. <coughs> couple things we're going to do first. Up to the captain's cabin, El Cabino del Capitan, as we call it. No fish yet. Nice picture of Ashley. And let's get some music going. Second one. I like the second song. It's quite a nice song. Okay, so we've got the Inferno armor, which is pretty good. Um, but that helmet is just so ugly. So what we're going to do is get an even uglier helmet. There we go. Because that increases our recharge time for our powers. And we really do need that. Thanks to the uh, tech armor. Let's see. Nice bright yellow. Maybe not that bright. Do 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 do. That's nice. Tint two. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll get the red going there. Yeah, I think that's fine. Good. That five percent recharge time may not seem like much, but uh, believe you me, it is good. We're going to go down to engineering and talk quickly to Donnelly and Dan Daniels, the double Ds, as I call them. Tell us about the Kodiak, but we don't have one. Now then. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I didn't hear an officer on deck. I run this ship military. Do you two think this is all a joke? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Good catch. Won't happen again, sir. At ease. Who are you? I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control system. Pixels. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion system. I bet you like what FBA you couplings. You, are you set up okay down here? Need any FBA I couplings? Can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth. You're complaining. If only you could have some Type 6 FBA couplings. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA coupling. FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators blah, blah, blah. in the Kenneth, primary... Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. T6 FBA couplings. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. Oh my. You probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Yeah, I'll get it for you. Carry on. Will do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see it. So, let's see here. Back up to the CIC, and as promised, we're going to swing by the Citadel to pick up Kasumi first thing. Um, yeah, so let's get going. Grab us a ninja. Uh, first thing, actually, that's smart to do here is fill up the fuel depot. Because you start off with zero for some reason, because they're jerks. And then we're going to go down here to Citadel and recruit the Master Thief. It's going to be fun. Alrighty. Boop, 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 boop. Dock on in there. We'll go see Kasumi. And she's going to be very inconspicuous. You probably won't even notice her when we first dock with the ship. It'd be really difficult for you to see where she is. You'll think, oh, there's no thief there at all. It's just, uh... Oops, sorry. Just my imagination running away with me. It's just my imagination running away from me. All right, good. As if I have a choice here. Uh, 
Uh, I'm all set, but these guys aren't, so give her a couple more points in overload and warp. Warp is actually really good, so we'll add more points in warp. And there we go, one service officer. J Jacob. What does that give you? More health and some more weapon damage. Or we could give you better pull. There you go. Don't really have a choice here. There's one extra shotgun for Jacob, but he's already got the better one, I believe. And we don't need guns for this mission anyway. If we're being honest here. That's the sound stuff makes. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. I'm gonna show the map because otherwise it's gonna harass me. All through, all through this conversation. Hello, advertisement. Uh, with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Ah, uh, see that? Like, collectors? Ah, uh, yeah? Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. You know who I am, Kasumi. I'm not here to play games. I heard you were hardcore, Shep. But I figured you'd be up for some intrigue. I hate Kasumi intrigue. Goto at your service. But you apparently already knew that. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Yeah, you're great. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. I can tell because you're the main character. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. Ooh, signing I had a thing bonus. I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. Let's learn about that. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. Like two I'm minutes. I'm taking the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Like some kind of James Bond or Solomon what do you know about Gun. Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Mm -hmm. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. Yeah, his name's Hawk because he hawks things, right? I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. Fair enough. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. I love the word illicit. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. Tell me about the dead His guy. His name was Keiji Okuda, the best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Yeah, I'll bet he is a good entry man. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. Oh my. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. <gasps> he encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. What a cipher. Now those memories are all that's left of him. If the information's deadly, we have to keep it out of the wrong hands. Donovan Hawk is the last man I'd want holding this information. We'll see what we can do. No guarantees. Sure. But I bet you're dying to see what it's like to come along on a heist with me. It's pretty fun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. Well, it was your idea. You're on the ship, Shepard. Hang on. I wonder if you could hear the force of that sneeze through the mute. It was really loud. Anyway, seeing as we're here... This 
recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. Oh my. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. One of my favorite now, quotes in Mass Effect. Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Unless... Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. There you go. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackass know that space is it's empty. It's not. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. Or a reaper. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is Whoa, why you his check hand sank into his ass. That is why you wait for the computer the to give you a damn way. firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. Eyeball it. Of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, let's get on in here and tell everyone that we're not dead. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last Wouldn't here. Wouldn't be so sure about that. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. Well... I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your ID. Also, he can be amazing. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Oh, Bailey. Yes? I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, mm. and probably a stop by the Treasury. Mm. Spending a year dead is a popular tax. Well, it's the one I used last year. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Good. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidio. No. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. They didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair <laughs> enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. Hint, hint. I heard you and Councillor Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? No, I'm going to talk at you for a bit. Hang on. How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six no months. Doubt. I joined c so I could stay in one place and put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Uh, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. Tell me I about it. I miss the it. food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. He's from B.C. Black me. You ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with CSEC, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm going to retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. Cool. Anyway, we'll talk about this stuff later. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. So, stuff to do up here. Harass people. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. <laughs> there are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price you range. Bet? So, you're saying I'm Ooh. poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. Face. What? No. Here we I... go. Hey, everyone. This store discriminates against the poor. <laughs> Please, calm down. As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? It'll do. Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. 
please enjoy your shopping experience. That's why it's fun to be a renegade. Space hamster, Skullfish! Norman D S R one, Destiny Ascension. We're done. There's lots of incidental stuff that you can hear around here. Um, we're not going to worry about it right now. I'm going the wrong way. Am I? Maybe? I can never remember my way around here. It's such a friggin' nightmare. Ah, here we go. Human. Etarn. I understand you sell hunting supplies. I'm interested. Why would human scavengers need guns? They only strike when their prey hey. is weak. Like that time the Citadel was attacked by Geth and you killed the Council. As I recall, you had a fleet here to protect the Council. Sovereign blew right through them. Too bad your admirals didn't ask us for help Ooh. sooner. At least you've got us here to protect you now. What are you saying? I'm saying that you're going to help me by selling these weapons at cost. Because you know humans are the best defense this place has oh, right ho, now. Ho. Fine. You've got it. Now buy something and get out. I will buy something. Pleasure doing business with you. Go to hell. <laughs> Alright. Get ourselves some heavy pistol damage. This is valuable. Uh, Don't really want that. Don't really need that either. Buy this, though. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. It's like a non-stop Sorry, I had to cough there. We're gonna do most of this stuff later, but... Been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone. Comforting to some people, I guess. Living in denial that all this could end. I'll bet. Now, uh, where are we? Our autumn Expeditions. Where is it, anyway? I can't remember. Is this it here? No? Oh, it's Kalissa. The people want to hear your story, No one cares Shepard. about you. But you're better than that horrible person from the third game. Kalissa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. <laughs> I interviewed you two years ago when you first became I remember. Spectre. You walked out in the middle of the interview. Made a lot of humans question what the council might be hiding. Do you have a minute? Sorry. Don't remember, don't care. But the people remember you, Shepard. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Uh-huh. And? Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. <coughs> it's fair to say the course of the battle hinged Jacob just on leaves. your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension, sacrifice... I've had enough of your disingenuous assertions. Boom! <laughs> Equal opportunity, bitches. I wish I'd done that the first time we met. You son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance Who sees cares? That. Check vid. Did we get it? And that's nice. how you end a video. Till the next time, all the best.